so operations on on binary numbers are very very important and the basic the basic operations that you need to know in binary or in any arithmetic as well are addition and subtraction so addition is very simple we'll take an example subtraction is where you need to add a little bit of more thought so starting with addition the basic rules are this 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with the carry of 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with the carry of 1 so these are the rules of addition for binary numbers coming to subtraction it's it's similar 0 minus 0 is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 however however 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is 1 with the borrow of 1 okay so i really don't need to prove this to you but i will i will give you the background of how this works binary right so how how are you arriving at these it's nothing but 2 par 0 2 par 1 2 par 2 so the place value for each of these digits right if my number is 101011 if i need to convert it into decimal or whatever the place value of these digits goes like sorry where did 3 go 3 4 5 5 right so this is how the place value of these digit changes like so that is the principle involved here if i am if i am adding 1 and 1 1 and 1 it is going to stay zero in the least significant place because 1 and 1 is is 2 right so in in the in whatever 2 par 0 place it's going to stay 0 and in the next place it's going to be 1 so 1 plus 1 is basically 1 0 this is the least significant place and this is the more significant highest significant place so this one and one what we are talking about both of them were single i mean 0 0 0 1 whatever so 1 plus 1 gives 0 with the carry of 1 because this one the place value is more so this equals 2 of these right that is how that has come in and the same applies for subtraction you 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 don't need to know this but just in case in your exam if you are stuck up and then you are suddenly like hey what what, what comes next then you can you can give an explanation to yourself for that and continue with the solution so the same applies for subtraction if i have a 0 minus 0 minus 1 Zero minus one. Say one zero minus one. Okay. I cannot actually subtract one from a zero, can I? No. So I need to borrow one, right? So I'm going to borrow this one. It's going to become zero, and then this is going to become one or one zero. So this is going to become. One zero. So now, this answer is one. 
Now zero minus zero is nothing but zero, right? So try solving it, substituting these values. Initially, what did we do? We did a one zero minus one. So what is this place? What is this place? This is two power zero. This is two power one. And this is two power zero. So what is this number actually? It's actually two ma two, right? Two, two plus that zero anyway. So, and this number is one. So two minus one is one, right? So that is the background process that goes along this. So now there is a little bit more logic to subtraction than. The I I just told you this because you will remember these three things, these three things, and these three things. We look at the subtraction example for better clarity, and how the carry forward actually borrow takes place. So addition is a piece of cake that you will enjoy. Let's take. Uh, this number one 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 zero. Let's let's add in decimals as well to add in more more uh, kick. Point zero zero one one. Okay, and now I'm gonna add it with zero zero one 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 zero. Okay, so now one, right? One plus zero. One plus one is zero with a carry forward of one. With a carry forward of one. So now this is one and one is zero with a carry forward of one. Okay, now one and one is zero with a carry forward of one. The dot comes in as it is. One and zero is one. One, one, one. So this is the addition of those two numbers in binary. So this is addition. Okay. Let's do subtraction. Okay. One zero one one point zero one zero minus minus. One zero zero one. Okay. So zero minus one. I can't do it. Can I? I can't do it. Right. So I take carry forward of this one. Okay. And now this is one. You guys are getting it, right? Zero minus zero. Zero minus one. Zero minus one is one. With a borrow, I meant borrow. Okay, with a borrow of one. You had a one here. You were lucky, so you borrowed it. So the answer is one. And zero minus zero is zero zero. One minus one is zero one zero one. So this is the subtraction of these two numbers. This is a simple one. A challenging example would be um, to have something like this: one, zero, zero, one point, um, point, zero, one zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Minus to to back things up. Uh, one one point one one one. Okay. Or, uh, or let's add another one. Make things more interesting. So now, the first thing is zero minus one. I cannot do a zero minus one until I have a borrow. So I'm going to borrow this one. This one is going to become zero. But here it is going to be one zero. Right. So. It is one zero minus one that is one. So now in the next place it is zero minus one, right? 
So I can't do 0 minus 1. I'll go to this one, which again is a 0, which again is a 0. So now what do I do? So now I have the next place. So these are basically, so this is 2 power minus 1, 2 power minus 2, 2 power minus, 2 power minus 3, right? 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, right? So that is how the hierarchy goes like. So if this one goes here, it becomes 1, 0, right? But here, from here, okay, I'll make this 0, okay? Now this one is carried forward here. But I'm not going to use this one here. Am I? No. I'm going to use this one here. I need, I need, I actually need a carry forward here. So now from here, from here, I can carry forward another one because I have an advantage for more digits, for more place value. So now I have one zero here and I have one here. I have one zero here and I have one here. So one zero minus one is what? One. And one minus one is what? Zero. Because I have carried forward a one to the next place, right? So now zero minus one, possible? No. Next place? No. Next place? No. Here? Yes. So I'm gonna remove this one, make it zero and carry it forward here. But am I going to use it right now here? No. So here, it is going to be remaining as 1 and it becomes 1, 0 here, which also no. So this is going to become 1 and this is going to become 1, 0. Okay? So 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is the result of this subtraction. So know that there is the advantage of the place. In previous sums, we just did... Uh, one goes back from the previous place and the next place it is one zero so one zero minus one is one which is basically zero minus one is one with the borrow of one but here here the next place is also zero the next place is also zero and that next place is also zero so you are going to carry forward something of the order of two power three which is eight into something of 2 power minus thing. So even if you carry 1, you will still be able to carry another 1 because you have the place advantage. And an easy way to remember this, remember this would be, when you're borrowing, <coughs> when you're borrowing, the immediate place the immediate place gets one zero, okay? But once you carry forward it, once you borrow it again to the next level, then you will only have a unit one here. You will have a unit one place here. You won't have the, the tens. You won't have the additional one zero minus one because you're carrying forward another one to the next place you will have one minus one. Otherwise, if you are not borrowing it to the next level, then you would have had one minus one. So I hope this concept of subtraction is clear to all of you.